Fintech Nation, it is day 44, and I deeply, deeply apologize to all of you who could not get your scan done today. Um, the scans were going fine up until a certain point, and then the machine just would not read anybody. It wouldn't read me, it wouldn't read any of the students. I think I tried at least four or five different people, it would not read, and uh, I just couldn't get the machine to work. So, um, never has this ever happened. Um, but of course, once everybody left, um, I cleaned it down, I rebalanced it, and uh, lo and behold, it works. So, um, yeah, there you, there you have it, right? So, um, I do really apologize to you all. Uh, I, I don't mean to waste your time, um, but you know, this was something that was just completely unforeseen. I guess, you know, electronics are just uh, not always uh, reliable. So, um, I what I will do is, um, I will set up another schedule for this Wednesday morning. Hopefully that will work for you. If it doesn't, then I can meet you uh, privately. But we really do need to get these scans done this week. The good thing is, is that, you know, we've, we've kind of, we've got a bit of a buffer period here because there is actually four weeks. So if we do it halfway through this week, it's not going to really make that much of a difference, right? It's not like we're going into a week and then there's, you know, we only have like, you know, a maximum of, of three weeks here, right? We've got this longer period between scans, so um, so that is a good thing. Okay, so I'll set that up. I'll let you guys all know. But again, I, my apologies uh, for the um, you know for the for the for the disruption this morning. Okay, all right. Um, is there a trick to weighing food? Um, that is a question that was sent to me. Is there a trick to weighing your food out? Um, I don't really know what you mean by trick, but um, there's some ways to make it faster. And of course, hopefully your scale has that tar button, uh, sorry, that tear button, um, where you can reset the scale to all zeros. So if you're weighing in different things, like maybe you're weighing some rice, and then maybe you're weighing in some meat, and then maybe you're, I don't know, weighing some vegetables or something, you can just put something in, you know, like the rice per se, right? Let's say you start with rice, and then you just have to tar it, and it goes back to zero and then you add in your chicken, etc. cetera. Um, this is the easiest way that I found um, and the quickest, the quickest way. Um, I weigh everything um, unless it's like a pre-packaged thing like an ISO bar, obviously don't weigh that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the only thing I can think of is that, that, um, that tear button on your scale. Hopefully you have one of those. It does make things a little bit easier. That way you don't have to do math by adding things on top, okay? Um, you know, like I said, when it comes to making a conglomeration of food, like if you're making like a casserole or a jambalaya or something where you're putting in multiple ingredients, you know, my suggestion is to uh, weigh everything out in the beginning and then uh, put it all together figure out the total macros for it, and then subdivide all of the, uh, well, add up the macros, right? So you're gonna add up all your proteins and all your carbohydrate sources and all your fat sources for that entire conglomeration, and then weigh it. So you figure out the total weight of everything, and then just subdivide it into as many servings as you want. So let's just say it's 10 servings, Let's say the uh, entire dish is 30 ounces, right? Every serving will be three ounces. Um, and, uh, you know, you can go on good faith that things are, are um, you know, uh, evenly dispersed in that mixture that you've made. So, you know, every serving is going to be roughly the same macros, right? Okay. Um, I can't think of anything else to be honest with you, but maybe there's something in particular you're having problems with. So if you want to resend me this question, be more specific, maybe I can help you more. Um, importance of rest. Um, it's very important. This is where you recover, okay? Especially when you're sleeping. The majority of your recovery happens when you sleep. All right, so um, that's an important part. Obviously, if you're training hard enough, we we really do want to let those muscles recover. Um, so, you know, the time period between workouts can matter. In the beginning of working out, uh, for, you know, I would say for most of you, I wouldn't be super concerned with this. The volume that we do is on the lower end, um, generally speaking. 
So we're not causing a huge amount of muscle damage. Um, but, you know, we certainly do want to leave at least a couple days in between. You know, um, this is why we have the program set out as we do, right? If we do something on Monday, we don't do it again until Thursday. Um, and uh, we do try to put in complementary exercises if we do repeat another workout. So, for example, if we what we do on a Thursday, we do end up doing again on a Saturday in terms of like upper or lower body. We try to put in some different types of movements, so we uh, we don't overlap too too much with what we do. Okay. Um, but rest is everything. Yeah, rest is really really important. So make sure more than anything. You get enough sleep in the night, I would say at least seven hours. If you don't get enough sleep, sometimes this happens to me, I work late, I gotta be up super early, um, then uh, I just try to take a nap in the day, okay? You may not have that luxury, but uh, you know, if you can find some point to nap, if you don't get enough rest, then do that, okay? Sleep is everything, obviously on top of nutrition, okay? Um, what else do I wanna say on that? Anything? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this is obviously where you're, this is where you're progressing, right? The stimulus is in the gym, but if you don't recover correctly from the gym, right, you don't give yourself enough of the right nutrients, you don't, you know, get enough rest, then that's going to uh, compromise your results, okay? So rest and nutrition are everything. Um, so yes, rest is very important. Okay, um... Okay, another question here. Is sugar something to consider? Should I be staying under the recommended sugar intake? My fitness pal tells me. Um, generally, this is, uh, if you're eating real whole food, I don't really, I'm not too concerned with this, okay? So, um, you know, if, you're, if your sugar intake's coming, coming from things like fruit, um, or, you know, if it's coming from real whole food sources, uh, even certain vegetables, carrots, uh, pepper, stuff like that, um, I, I wouldn't we I wouldn't be concerned with it, okay? So even if you're going over your quote, this is the the recommended sugar intake that my fitness pal says that you should have or the maximum, and you go over that, I wouldn't worry too much so long as the foods are real whole food. Also consider this that you know sugar gets a bad rap because of how fast it gets to your bloodstream and then obviously the consequences that it has on your body. But when you start to mix in things like fiber and fat and protein sugar takes on a different, uh, well, it has a different effect on the body, okay? It doesn't have as bad as, as bad an effect, okay? Um, it's not even the right way to put it. It doesn't, the blood, the sugar does not get into your bloodstream as fast, and that's a good thing, okay? Basically, sugar becomes less like sugar. It becomes more starch-like if you're having it with, you know, proteins, and or fats and or fiber, okay? Makes a big difference, okay? Same with carbo just carbohydrates in general, okay? Starches, you know, just like having a, like if you're having a potato on, on its own, okay, that's gonna be a lot different than having potato with, you know, some of the other macros that I mentioned, right? Fat, um, protein, and fiber, okay? That will slow down the, um, the breakdown of that particular carbohydrate. Okay, so I, I, so long as you're eating real whole food, you're, you're getting complete meals, I wouldn't worry so much about it. All right, um, in continuation to this question, and if so, what am I doing for time here? Almost nine minutes, okay. And if so, most of the time an ice cream bar helps me get my macro goals. Is it better to forego, is, is it better to forego and be off my macros a bit more? So for example, if I eat a Halo Top ice cream bar, which is 12 grams carb, three grams fat, three grams protein, it's a small bar, um, which most of the time will get, me, will get my macros down to basically my target, but if I try to fill it in with other foods, I don't get as close to the target. So the question is, is it more important to get close to those target goal or eat other food that might be a bit more further away? It's neither of those, okay? You just have to eat the right foods. I mean, ideally you're gonna plan in advance. And there are people in this challenge that do do that. There's every challenge there are people that do it. And these people, the people that plan in advance, we I never see somebody who plans in advance and does poorly. Never, ever, because it's, that's, you know, that is obviously part of the secret of doing well in this challenge. It's not really a secret, it's kind of obvious, but you know, 
So, you know, the answer to this is if you are short on certain macros, you have to look at macros that are basically one dimensional. Rice is basically, so for example, rice is basically pure carbohydrates. You know, um, coconut oil is pure fat, okay? Or olive oil is pure fat, okay? Um, egg white is pure protein. Okay, uh, white fish is pure protein. Generally speaking, white fish is almost pure protein. Okay, chicken breast is basically pure protein. So you just have to make it up with the right foods. It's not, you know, you're like, it's like you're looking for an excuse here. Do I have my ice cream bar and then I'm like perfect? Or I don't have my ice cream bar and I'm not quite perfect. Which one's it gonna be? No, it's neither of those, okay? You pick the right foods, okay? So, um, choose just, you know, Let's not play games here, okay? I think you know better than this. Like, I think you act, you do know, okay? You're a smart person, I know who you are. Okay. Um, okay, where am I at? 11 minutes, Jesus. All right, so message of the day. Message of the day. You know, by the way, um, so my, my scale at the, the embody at work messed up today. My food scale wasn't working today. And now I'm having issues with my laptops. Today, there's something up with today. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's a time change. I'm not sure. All right, message of the day. Measured and methodical over time will get you to where you want to be. We'll ensure, we'll basically ensure you that you get where you want to be, okay? Measured and methodical. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stress this, you know, if you guys try to wing this, and listen, I know a large part of you do, and I know a large part of you don't put it all in your journal, and I know you say to me, well, I know that I'm right there, and you know, I just have to trust you. Um, I'm just gonna remind you that the people that plan and do this, um, there is no second guessing, there's no having to convince me, and they always do really well. So I don't think that that's just a coincidence, okay? So I'm going to remind you, if you are not seeing what you wanna see, ask yourself how you know, I know a lot of you are convinced that you're doing it. It's not in my journal. You know, I, I know I've been doing this. Okay. But I'm telling you, those people who do this exactly do very well in this, okay? So there's never been, there has never ever been anybody who has planned 100% and done poorly, okay? In fact, everybody that's planned 100% that I can think of has always, yeah, has always done really well. In fact, the rec those are the record breakers, to be honest with you. Okay, um, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say, okay? Again, my apologies to you if you are among the people who didn't, uh, who came in for your scan, I couldn't get you in because of the frigging machine. My apologies, we'll get that sorted out and we'll get your scan done this week. Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself. For the love of God, keep trying, stay focused, look for ways you can improve, take responsibility. Even if you think you are not responsible, okay? Even if you think I am not responsible, I've been doing everything perfect, just try this. Look for anything that possibly you could do better, okay? And try that and see if you do do better, okay? Taking responsibility for whatever you can in your life um, makes your life easier. Believe me, it does, okay? I'll talk to you guys all very soon. See ya.